So Daniel, could you give us a brief introduction to yourself and your organisation and the role you play in that organisation? Yep. Uh, my name is Daniel Rose and I work at the National Library in Australia, in Canberra. Um, I'm the technical lead of the service desk, so I have a lot of, uh, I've been there 12 years, so I've got a lot of corporate knowledge and I'm essentially the escalation point for uh, stuff that the first and second level guys can't fix up. Okay, sure. And Daniel, what managing gym products do you have implemented at the National Library? Uh, we've got uh, AD Manager Plus and the staff soft service system. Uh, we set that up primarily as a replacement for our existing staff directory that wasn't wasn't particularly good in some ways. Okay, and could you elaborate on what, what disadvantages you face with your old system? Well, the existing system that we had had been developed in-house using uh, Oracle and uh, some Java stuff uh, by our professional developers. And um, it proved that we didn't, uh, it meant that when we want changes to our system and the way it worked, uh, we had to pay these, these developers the full rate and we needed specialised skills to work in that uh, Oracle and Solaris environment. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, moving to the uh, staff self service meant that we could uh, pull the data straight out of Active Directory and we didn't have to synchronise the two databases. Okay, sure. And, and with, with the moving to, was that the main features and benefits of moving to this AD self service plus or? Uh, it was actually a side effect outcome. We moved to Self Service Plus to reduce the number of requests we had for people unlocking their AD accounts. Okay. Um, so we were implementing staff self service so that people could use the secret question and answers to unlock their own accounts. And the, uh, the replacement staff directory was an added benefit of that. Okay. And do you know on average how many, how many tickets originally were created from that unlocking and then how many were, were how much that decreased with the introduction of AD self service? Um, I don't have uh, detailed historical data, but I can tell you that for February we had 33 passwords, uh, 33 people unlocked their own accounts. We had 18 resets and 12 changes. Okay, sure. Uh, so, can you tell about uh, how effectively uh, that uh, the product the product has reduced the complexities of the administrator? Uh, uh, you know. From administrative complexity, uh, we managed to remove the part of our user creation script that would make an ODBC call into the Oracle database to set up that staff directory entry. So we don't need to do that anymore because it's all in one spot. Um, there wasn't a lot of complexity that arose from our, um, from our staff directory, I guess, and so there wasn't a lot to eliminate. Um, but it does mean that now we can build um, simple interfaces using Active Directory, using skills that we've got in our service desk already without having to use the developers in the Oracle and Solaris environment.